In this edition of freetestprep.net, we are going to learn Ericsson's eight stages of development with mnemonic tricks. The trick we're going to use today is called the PEG system. The PEG system basically uses a figurative code to represent an image and a number. For example, one is represented by a bun because they rhyme. Two, a shoe. Three, a tree. Four, a dinosaur. Five, a diver. 6, sticks, 7, heaven, and 8, plate. You can kind of see how the rhyming helps remember it. So when we think about the number 1, we say 1 is bun. Well, 1 is bun. Number 1 in the theory is trust versus mistrust. So we need to have a way so that when we see this bun in our minds, that we see trust or mistrust. Well, if we picture the bun as rusty, notice how the word rust is in trust. So when we think of our bun and we see the rust on it, we say rust, trust, trust versus mistrust. That's kind of how the peg system works. So for number two, we have a shoe. Number two is autonomy versus shame. Well, I see the word auto in there. So what if we pictured this shoe with some wheels on it looking like a car? Well, that gives us the first one pretty good. So when we think of a two and a shoe, we have a shoe that's a car, autonomy. Now we need shame. Well, shame sounds like the, the name Shane. Well, let's just put Shane in that car. Use any Shane that you know. And now we have autonomy versus shame. We think of a shoe that's an automobile with Shane inside of it. Number three is initiative versus guilt. Well, three, if you remember, is a tree. So what can we do with this tree to use initiative or guilt? Well, initiative starts with in. Well, why don't we use holiday in? Put that behind the tree in your mind. Now, guilt. Guilt rhymes with quilt. So let's take this quilt and wrap it around the tree. So now when we think three, we think three is a tree. And when we see this tree in our mind, we will see a holiday inn behind it and a quilt wrapped around it. In and guilt. Initiative and guilt. Number four is industry versus inferiority. And remember, number four is a dinosaur. Well, industry has the word dust in it. So let's have our dinosaur standing on some dust. We also need to picture something that's inferior. Well, we have a dinosaur. Let's just make him look inferior. So we have an inferior dinosaur standing on some dust. Four, dinosaur, standing on dust, industry, and he's inferior. Number five is identity versus identity confusion. Now, number five is dive. So we need something to attach to the word dive that's going to help bring the word identity up. Well, ident. Picture the diver diving into a car and denting it. We also have identity confusion, so we can use the same one for both. Number six is intimacy versus isolation. Six is sticks. This is probably the easiest one. Just picture a couple of sticks kissing and a third stick left off to the side. So six is sticks, we see the sticks, and then we see them kissing. Number seven is generativity versus stagnation. Well, seven is heaven. So generativity, that has the word generate in it. So let's picture a generator versus stagnation. Well, let's put a stag there, stag turning the generator. So now when we think seven is heaven, we picture some stag running a generator in heaven. The final one, number eight, integrity versus despair. Eight is a plate. Let's put some grits on those plates so we have some integrity versus despair. Let's put a pear there. So now when we think of number eight in our plates, we put some grits on the plate and a pear right there, and we have it. So, do you have it down now? Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's do a quick review. One is a bun. The bun is rusty. Rust, mistrust. Two. Two is a shoe. Picture the shoe with wheels. Autonomy versus shame. Three is a tree. 
Well, what's behind that tree? Holiday Inn and the quilt that reminds us of guilt. Number four, four is a dinosaur standing on some dust, dust, industry. And the dinosaur is looking pretty inferior. So industry versus inferiority. Number five, well, we have a diver for five. The diver is dented a car. So identity, identity versus identity confusion. Six is sticks. What are those sticks doing? They're smooching. So we have some intimate sticks and another stick out there on the side. Seven is heaven. Well, what's going on in heaven? The lights are out and the stag is running the generator. Generativity versus stagnation. Finally, number eight. Eight's a plate. What's on the plate? Well, grits, integrity, and despair. There's a pear on that plate. Well, that's it. That's the PEG method for Erickson's eight stages of development.